What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Victoria Day, a holiday, a Canadian holiday, that I have no idea what it is. Uh, apparently, I just missed it. It was Monday, May 22nd, just last week. But, uh, I missed it. Happy belated Victoria Day. Um, apologies for that, but I didn't know it existed. I feel like that's a pretty decent excuse, <laughs> you know? No, I didn't know. So I think I'm going to rectify that today by uh, watching this little video here where she's going to explain exactly what Victoria Day is, what what it's celebrating, maybe why it's called Victoria Day. I, I don't know even where to begin with this one. So it's kind of a blank slate. I'm excited. I, I don't know what it is. And that's kind of kind of some of the most exciting stuff. Stuff I didn't even know I didn't know. So without any further ado, let's take a look. Victoria Day is a holiday that's only celebrated in Canada. A, a holiday that's only celebrated in Canada. I've heard of Canada Day. I don't know much of anything like about that, but I've at least heard of it. I think it's kind of comparable to American 4th of July, like kind of celebrating the, the nation. So Victoria Day, to be a Canadian-only holiday, I guess I just have to ask, what on earth is it celebrating? Victoria Day is an annual holiday. Okay. The word annual means that it happens or occurs every year. Uh -huh. It is a yearly event. Okay. Victoria Day is celebrated on the Monday preceding May 25th. The word preceding means happening before another event in order. The, the Monday before May 25th. That is very specific. What happens on May 25th? Er... This is just a way to know when it's Victoria Day. Okay. So, the Monday that happens before May 25th will okay. always be Victoria Day. Victoria Got it. Day is always the Monday between May 18th to May 24th. Okay. This is why. Okay, does I feel feel like uh, this means I don't have an excuse to miss Victoria Day anymore. So I have been told at least five times in this video how to calculate when it is. <laughs> Some people actually call this holiday the May 2-4 weekend. May 2-4 or just 2-4 weekend. 2-4? May 2-4? Doesn't that mean like beer? Or <laughs> Doesn't, is that not a Canadian slang for alcohol or a beer, like a kind of beer? Or is that on purpose? Or what is this holiday? What's going on during this holiday? Wait a minute. Again, is Canadian slang referring to not just the Victoria Day weekend, yeah. but also buying <laughs> beer. When okay. you buy beer in Canada, you can buy- <laughs> This is kind of like American 4th of July, actually. More and more. Beer involved. Okay. A box that has 24 bottles of beer in it. Oh. This is known as a 2-4. Oh, that's what it was. It's a it's a bo big old box of beer with 24 bottles. Okay, <laughs> gotta get your 2-4 on 2-4. Do you call Victoria Day 2-4? Um, oh, how did she call it? May 2-4 or 2-4 weekend. Okay, got it. Has 24 bottles of beer in it. This is known as a 2-4. Okay. And guess what many Canadians like to do on Victoria Day weekend? I don't know. That's right. They like to drink no. beer. No <laughs> way. No, I wasn't expecting that. Beer? <laughs> on a day named after beer. This is fascinating. Still don't quite know what this holiday is celebrating yet. That's why the Victoria Day weekend is often called May 2-4. Victoria okay. Day is celebrated on the penultimate Monday in May. Yeah. The word penultimate means second last or next to the last. Okay. For example, the what on earth happened? Um, Victoria is a name. Victoria Day. I mean, it could be a name. It could be something else, I guess. Letter Y is the penultimate letter of the alphabet. 
So Victoria Day is on the penultimate Monday in May. Unlike other celebrations such as Valentine's Day or Halloween or April Fool's Day, May 24th, Victoria Day, is actually one of the few stat holidays in Canada. Stat, stat. is short for statutory. And a statutory holiday means that it is a government-controlled holiday. Wow, it's a it's like an official holiday uh, in Canada. Government-mandated holiday. Like, everyone gets the day off, M maybe? Or, uh, yeah, this is, um... Basically, you get the day off, and everyone is, like, assured that they get to celebrate it or something like that. Like, we have government holidays in America, and then there's just holidays, kind of like what she was saying, like, April Fool's Day or something uh, that you don't get off for. It is a legal holiday that the government has decided, and on this day, Canadians get the day off work. Woohoo! We don't Woo have to work this day. <laughs> or... Some wow, so this is deemed important enough, this is significant enough of an event that the government is like, everyone can have off to celebrate it. So I, I really just want to know what this is all about, what, what the day is for uh, at this point. It's quite a buildup. Some people have to go to work, and if you're one of those unlucky uh... people that must work on this holiday, then legally you have to get paid extra money. Okay, like working on Christmas or something. Okay. Which we call in English time and a half. Yeah. Time and a half means you're getting paid one and a half times the amount of money you would usually make. So right. if you have to work May 2-4 mm. on the stat holiday, it's okay because you'll get paid time and a half. That's a shame. That's a shame to have to work on the the national beer holiday or <laughs> that's that's what that's all I have to go on at this point. It's the National Canadian Beer Day. Uh, to me. <laughs> so, what exactly is observed on Victoria Day? Yes. Victoria Day commemorates the late Queen Victoria's birthday. The Queen Victoria? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not familiar with who Queen Victoria is. And it's for her birthday, it's not for her, her death, but Queen Victoria's birthday. That's very specific. The word commemorate means to remember and show respect to someone or something. We're showing respect by all drinking all our beers on <laughs> Queen Victoria's birthday. Uh, that's how we're showing our respects. Fair enough. It means to celebrate someone or an event that is important. Right. So we are commemorating right. Queen Victoria's birthday. Okay. Queen Victoria was Queen of England from 1837 until 1876 when she passed away. Wow. Okay. So this is kind of a historical holiday. Did it begin? Back in the 1800s or 1900s, did this uh, holiday get invented in Canada? I know, I know a bit about Canada's relationship to the British Empire and all that, so it's not totally blowing my mind that it has to do with a Queen of England. I guess just maybe the fact that it has to do with Queen Victoria, someone I'm not sure what they're notable for. The word pass away is a great phrasal verb. Pass away means to die or mm. to be deceased. Yeah. Pass away is also an excellent euphemism. The word euphemism in <laughs> English refers to... I think some of uh, her channel here is like also explaining English a bit. That's why there's a lot of explaining the definitions, I think. She passed away rather than saying she died. So mm. now you may be thinking, why do Canadians yes. commemorate a deceased British monarch's birthday? I could not have put it better myself. I <laughs> Why are Canadians drinking all the two fours on this deceased uh, British monarch's birthday? Perfect. <laughs> monarch, by the way, means the ruler of a state, mm -hmm. such as a king or queen or emperor. So Canadians celebrate a deceased monarch's birthday on Victoria Day because Queen Victoria was a very influential oh. person in Canadian history. Oh. I'm not a history teacher, I'm an English teacher, but let me <laughs> briefly explain to you why Queen Victoria is really important 
two Canadians. Oh, man. Man, I, I've learned some about Canadian history. I feel a bit bad now. If I've uh, learned something about Queen Victoria and forgotten, because nothing's coming to me. Uh, and for her to say that Queen Victoria is quite important to Canadians, I, I really want to know why. During Queen Victoria's reign, she became known as the Mother of Confederation. Okay. Reign means to hold sovereign power over a nation, to be in control, to sit on the throne, to have power such as a king or queen would have. So during her reign, during her control as queen, she got the nickname from Canadians as the Mother of Confederation. Mother of Confederation. That doesn't ring a bell either, and I'm not exactly sure what that even means. Here's where the big history lesson comes in. Okay. Canadian Confederation was complete on July 1st, 1867. Right. This Canada Day. This is a very significant date because it's also the day in Canada that we celebrate Canada Day. Yes. This date is very important in Canadian history because this is when the parts of Canada that were controlled by England, along with New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, came together into one entity and was called the Dominion of Canada. Ah, oh, this, this kind of seems familiar. I don't remember all the dates and all of the details, but I actually, <laughs> I really did not know going into this video that it was gonna be a bit of a history lesson. Which is fine, but I feel like I am I'm activating full focus mode. Like most of this is just me going, huh? What? <laughs> so I'm really trying to absorb the history here. It's quite it's quite interesting, honestly. Word dominion means that we are semi independent. So Queen Victoria, mother of confederation. And this has to do also with uh, basically the, the founding of the Dominion of Canada. We are not 100% our own country yet, but we have the independence to make our own rules and laws and things like that. Huh. This is kind of similar to if England is our parent and Canada <laughs> is the child and Happy Confederation Day would be like England is telling your child, go to university, you are free, you have your own life now. What? But if you need help, we're here. You can come home on weekends to do your laundry and get fresh cooked meals. So. <laughs> wow, that is that is an excellent analogy, actually. I just think it's funny that uh, <laughs> she, she really committed to it. Oh, that's honestly very helpful. Like, truthfully, I need it explained like a child to me. So, at this point, Canada still was under the umbrella of, like, England or the British Empire, but was becoming a dominion, gaining a lot of independence, making laws for itself, coming under the name of Canada. Confederation marks the date when Canada gained independence, okay. not 100% independence, but gained a lot of independence from Britain. So okay. it helped Canada to become more free and independent without fighting a war. And this is all thanks to uh, Queen Victoria's contributions. Ah, uh, that's the part I didn't realize. So a Queen of England actually had a massive role in some of the policy and decision making, decision making in, in letting Canada become more and more independent from them. Fascinating. So she is very significant to Canadian history, absolutely. So on Victoria Day, we want to celebrate and remember Queen Victoria because she helped Canada to become the great country that it is today. Canadian right, right, kind of set that first, that first rolling stone into motion of letting Canada go and be its own self and kind of find its own destiny. That was like, this was the beginning, beginning of that that she had a big contribution towards, yeah. Uh, rather than what she could have done, uh, try to make Canada more under the control of England and whatnot. She went this direction, so totally makes sense to me why a figure like that would be celebrated, actually. Canadians are celebrating Queen Victoria's birthday, which was on May 24th. We are celebrating her birthday by enjoying a day off from work. 
Yeah. And what do many Canadians do with this day off? We can enjoy things such as parades, okay. barbecues, concerts, and other outdoor events. Yeah. Usually at night, I especially love to watch fireworks. display. Oh, there's fireworks. Nice. Okay. There's, there's, this is celebrated a bit more than I kind of pictured in my mind. I was almost thinking like, what does America have like this? President's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, um, where there's not, there's celebration and basically Americans taking advantage of getting off work so they can chill, drink beer and do barbecue. A lot like <laughs> the description of Canadians in this, but there's fireworks here. This is a little more, a little more extravagantly celebrated than the holidays I was thinking of in America. Victoria Day, that is. Hmm. And of course, one of the things that many Canadians love to do on the Victoria oh. Day weekend <laughs> is drink beer. <laughs> Cheers to you, Queen Victoria. Thank oh, yeah. you, Queen Victoria, for all your contributions, which we continue to remember nearly a century and a half after your death. The word wow. century. That's pretty cool, actually, thinking about that. Like, just thinking about passing away and your name and your existence being celebrated like a century later. That's kind of wild, huh? It's pretty cool for Queen Victoria. Century means a period of 100 years. Queen Victoria died nearly 150 years ago, but right. she still continues to be an important part of Canada even now. Wow. So if you're in Canada this Victoria Day weekend, Please enjoy some activities and events for Victoria Day with your friends. Wow. If you're not in Canada, oh. I hope you found this That's lesson me. useful for learning a little bit about Canadian history and Canadian culture, and of course, learning many advanced vocabulary words. I did find this useful. Like, honestly, very, very useful. Um, so this holiday just kind of happened recently. Uh, Canadians were just out dare I say, getting a little crazy, or <laughs> at least enjoying the extra day off the holiday weekend last Monday. That's so cool. And now it's time for question of the day. Oh. Today's question is, what holiday do you celebrate or observe that oh. commemorates an important historical person? Let That's exactly what I was trying to think of um, in America. Uh, we definitely have, like, Martin Luther King Day, which is pretty significant. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Anyway, I enjoyed this a lot. This is by Jens Yugyu, if I'm saying that correctly. And I gotta give this video a like. It was very, very good. And she did a good job <laughs> explaining it in a way that even I can understand, which is a feat sometimes. So, I didn't know this was gonna be part history lesson. Wasn't sure what the Victoria in Victoria Day meant, but for having really never heard of this before uh, and never knowing a single thing about it, I feel like I have a very, very, very good grasp on what this is all about and a good appreciation for the significance of this Canadian-only holiday. That's pretty darn cool. So I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, Feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture and just stuff about Canada I've never learned before or seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.